This hanging pot here needs to be removed. I'm gonna take them off because I am going to replace it with another hanging pot. Yes, it will have some plants in it. So this one now, I'll just fill this up with soil. That's almost full. Now I'm gonna tap, tap just to compress it a bit because the soil is fairly low. So this is my intermediate soil mix, which has a lot of compost in it. Okay, see how it goes down? So I might have to add a little bit more, but not too much because I still want to have some room to put some gravel on it or some granite, just to stop the soil from splashing around when I'm watering this. Hello there, my name is Liz. A self-confessed succulent addict, welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So this is Graptopetalum Paraguayensi Bernalensi Varigata. So the reason why I'm using this plant is because see how it grows long and stemmy. They do have long stems. Even when they're young, like this, grown from cuttings, not really young, it's an old plant. So this one actually, you can see the stem actually popped out of it. It got pulled out because it wants to grow leggy like this one. See, look how the difference of these two plants. So that's one there. Look at that. So these three now, I need to chop them off, propagate the bottom leaves and put it in that pot. Also the same ones here because these ones has just grown so leggy. There's a lot of new growth underneath there. So this is an arrangement I've done a few months ago. And now I've taken a lot of cuttings from this plant as well. You can see inside there. And now the new ones has grown popping out everywhere. But this one now is covering the beautiful Mabina that's underneath it. So I really need to remove this and where I'm going to cut this off anyway. So I'm just going to go do that. You can see that it's all very, very leggy. It's flowering right now. So I'm just going to remove the flower because I don't need it. It's such a beautiful plant. I love it so much and it's so frost hardy for my area. Zone 9, this one can survive the frost. So the coldest we've got here was minus 11 and this one has already survived I think minus 10. I don't know about minus 11 because that was a few years ago before I got this one but I'm sure it's going to survive that too. So I'm just gonna remove some of the plants here. Anything that's growing over has to come off. Off with his head. There you go. I'm still leaving some of the stems there, so hopefully that will grow some new babies like those. From there, we can propagate some more. That one there, I'm gonna leave that there. Do I take you off? Yeah, I'll take you off. <laughs> because there's other plants there that's in the way. I'm leaving a space here. I'm cutting it a little bit uh, lower because even though, oh, Look, there's a new pup growing there, but it doesn't matter. She can grow again. We just more pups, but there you go. On my next video, we are going to propagate Cesar. This one here, this crested, beautiful one. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just so big. It's just so big now. It's overtaken this whole pot. So I really need to remove some of the inside ones for propagation. But even these ones, look at that. It's a gorgeous plant. See, look, beautiful. Look at that, gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, and in winter it goes all red. So I'll take my little container and I'm gonna go get some more from the other side. Now with these ones now, I'm gonna let this dry for at least two hours and I will plant it into my little planter. Now a couple of the leggy ones, I'm just gonna inspect this because this one here, I'll just pull this out. Oops, see there, see? Look, isn't that pretty? But it's also leggy, so one of them, this one, has to stay because hopefully that's not going to die because it's all like yellow. Now, the other part there, are you actually, yes, this is Bernalensi, which has gone yellow. And I actually bought a similar plant because of the name. Hang on. Oh, look at the bee again. Hello, Mr. Bee. You're back again. Okay. But before I show you the other plant, I'm just going to put this aside here and or else I'm gonna forget again if my head is not attached to my body I'm I swear I'm gonna <laughs> lose. oh hang on okay sorry B you got plenty of other plants to suck 
<laughs> the neck tore off. See how leggy it is? Very, very, very leggy. This is very, very long. So that would be about, say, six inches from there, seven inches. Anyway, I'm going to go and remove a lot of the middle part here because, hang on, I just hit my camera again. It's like 90% success rate with the leaves and they also grow variegated a lot of them so so now I've exposed a lot of them now so I'm just gonna chop that off there you go so hopefully that one will grow some more pups look how beautiful that cute one they're so cute chubby and so easy to grow to think I only started with one plant now the flower stalk we take off we take that off although you can also grow maybe I haven't grown them from that small so maybe they will grow too because they do grow from leaves even though it's that small I'm gonna leave that and see what happens if it continues to grow but I need to have some neck to go into the soil so I'm gonna continue removing a lot of the bottom ones there you go That's good enough. Isn't that so pretty? So cute. You are beautiful. These other ones the same. I'm gonna have to remove the flower stalk and remove some leaves and chop, chop, chop. There you go. That's good enough. So most people would probably think that I will have to put this in the shade, but I won't. I'm gonna leave it here exactly in this spot where I had it growing so what I'm doing is I'm giving them a couple of leaves to live on just so they can get some food anyway three is all right that one's only two but aren't they pretty anyway this one I'll move in here so maybe I need to bump up some of my pretties that are here so I'll take that one there I'm not even gonna uh, remove. I'll leave that one there to grow. I'll think about it. But I'm moving my other succulents that are here that are in need of more sun. Now this one is a Bernalensi apricot. That's what the label says. But anyway, <laughs> I think they're all the same plant. Now this one now, which is a Bernalensi, I am going to put in here, look, looking like an apricot. So I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, I'm gonna show you my apricot, which is this one here. Now, I bought this with the name apricot, but I think that's just Bernalensi. One and the same plant. So, and look, even going apricot, those yellow ones probably gonna die, I don't know, but this one now, I'm gonna put it next to it, just so I can compare the two. Excellent, so one is taller and the other one is shorter, still needs time to grow. So I'm gonna remove a lot of the leaves in the bottom. There you go, isn't that beautiful? Oh, that one's okay. That one, just to even it out. Now you can see the fresh wound on the sides that are all green still. So what I'm gonna do is leave this for a couple of hours before I plant them. That way uh, it will callus off and doesn't absorb any bacteria and eat the plant and kill it, basically. This is now two hours later. I am ready to plant them because they're all nice and dry. Put one, two, I'm going to move that a bit later on. Go. You might say that they're a bit crowded, but my goal is to want them to grow, sprawl out and hang over the side. And that's the reason why I want to plant them all in one pot. put granite on the edges or else it's gonna make a mess now 
Now she will be exposed to the 50% UV shade cloth that I've got in here and rain, hail or shine and also whether it's winter, spring, summer or fall. <laughs> I'm not going to sing but anyway. It's now exactly 21 days later. We'll check the progress of these plants. We're going to pull one of them out to see how much roots has grown from this. Let's just pick the small one. Okay. Oh, you nasty. Look what you've done. You pulled it off. Yes, look at the roots. That's 21 days of growth. But do you remember the leaves that we pluck out from the Bernalense Varigata? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I place them under the shelf here. This is outdoors, out in the open. Look, the sun shining. Hello, sun. And the leaves, I'm just rolling in a pan, new to it. I have kept it under here, under wraps. So every now and then it gets wet from my watering, but most of the time I made a little hook so they can all grow happily here. So let's go check it out. How many have germinated and how many did not. Most of them actually say 90% have germinated. I can see one here that's just, oh there's still a pup there on the edge. So there's still, that's still about to grow. But there's one, two, hang on I'll just remove this one that sort of rotted and a couple that one is still a bit later. I think they're more yellow on that one. I just chucked this one out. So they're more yellow on that one so that's why they haven't germinated. Oh they're still I think that that might still have a chance. Those two might still have a chance of growing and over in the corner here where it's upside down. I'll just pick my there you go that's growing or this one too. That might still I put them all in the corner we swap you for the slow but for the most part oh look that one's even got roots. See the roots on that one. Okay but at this stage, oh, that one's got roots too. And that one as well has formed. You can see some variegated leaves there. Some are dark and some are pink. And look at this one. Look at that. That's got roots as well. But it's still variegated. I could leave it here for another week to wait for the rest to grow roots. But what I'm planning to do is pot them up now. So that way I can forget about them. This is my planter. This is an old baking tray. This is a bunt tray or like a donut shape. So I've already put holes on this donut shape bunt baking pan. So you can see all the holes there. And I'm using this thimble. This is actually a rope thimble. And I'm going to feed this through the bunt like so. And that way I can put a wire through that one. And we're going to bend it, okay, that way. And this one now, I can, while I'm on the camera, there you go, just bend it around. Okay. A couple of times. That's good enough. Oh, so there's one there. So that way it can hang nicely. And on the opposite side, I will do the same. I just make a loop. And angle it. There you go. So that can hook up on onto my hanger over there. Now, we're going to fill this up so that might drop it. It doesn't matter. We'll take that away because we can easily insert that later on. So first thing, I've got some coconut coir to plug the holes around. Okay. And then I'll put some soil. This is my intermediate succulent soil mix. So link below this video in the description box on how I make mine. But this is sort of an amended version because it all depends on the potting mix that I get. I fill it up to the same level as the hole in the center. So I'm just going to tap this a couple of times. That's good enough. And then now, this is a bit low here on this side, so I'll just add a little bit here. And I'm just going to put some small grits of granite or any sort of, you can do any rocks as well. Just the small ones, no fine ones. Just spread it all up. So this is just prevents the soil from splashing about when watering. Now we'll put this and spread this around.
and the ones with roots will put out more. And we'll put this one back underneath, feed the water through with the thimble and hang it up. I won't water this, I leave this because we still have forecasts of rain. I keep it low like this, hanging up, so my eye level is up to here. So that way I can see the progress of the growth. And also it'll be easier for me to water it. And so that way I can watch the growth progress. And I will be watering them on average about every second day when I see the top inch of the soil dries up. If not, if it's a shady or a cloudy day, then I don't need to water them. And this one's here, I'm going to place this back under there to let them grow some more. There you go, back to your hidey hole. And this one now is the first generation of that original mother plant that I bought for $90 about three years ago. So it was only about this size. But then now look at all the babies that I've got from just one row set. Now that one's gorgeous. Gorgeous and more gorgeous. -er. And the ones that we've taken cuttings from, look how well they have grown. All new shoots coming out, all those pink bits there. Just about every single stem has got a new pot growing. Even the ones in the small pot. <laughs> 